Attention, real estate team leaders. Do you have a working team operations manual? Let's chat about it today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. And now your host, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome everyone to the WBNL Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where together we align, connect, and prosper. This is episode 294. You can find all those show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jen O'Brien, the Ops Manual, and near and dear to our hearts because we are kind of Ops Manual people. You had your military uh, uh, recall from Ops Manuals. I have my Disneyland Resort Ops Manual uh, world, and uh, we have lived, breathed, and helped create Ops Manuals for pretty much our entire careers. So here we are again. Talking yes, and this app. episode is inspired by a recent inquiry we had looking for the operations manual. Thank you. You inspired this episode today because we want to revisit the operations manual and we want to talk about why you need one. So where we, the thing I want to start with is there's not a turnkey thing you can buy out there. And if you did, it would only work for the person who created it. That is That's the right. way they run their team. So our philosophy, our philosophy around how do you create a team operations manual sort of stems from the, the policy and procedures manual that we had as brokers uh, that needs to have a lot more encompassing things in it. Okay. Uh, So, but really what you, what we feel you need to focus on and why you need an operations manual is let's think of the big picture. What's the Stephen Covey think begin with the end in mind. And if you begin with the end in mind, then you ultimately would like to be able to sell your team, your business, your book of business, your team, which is your systems. And one of the key systems that will make your team more valuable is if you have written policies and procedures on how you do everything in your team. So that's where our version of it starts in our real estate team builder program, which Matt will tell you more about how you can get that and get it at a discount today for the month of June. But if you're just getting into team building, you can go try our little mini course. We have a simple Uh, I don't know how many videos it is, but it's an intro to team building where we talk about some of the concepts that we cover in depth in our team builder program. So we're going to cover the specific lesson that we have in team builder about your team operations manual today. And then I want to talk to you about how kind of had a vision of how to make this a little bit more, uh, I don't know, all inclusive for people that are looking for that turnkey. But anyway, you get, if I was to give you my team operations manual, for example, You'd have to customize it to work for you because I use certain tools. I have certain things I do. I'm in a certain market. You may have a different model, but I think you need the bones of structure, which is what we're going to outline today. What needs to be in your team operations manual? We'll get to that second, but because first, why do you need a team operations manual? Number one is to really create specific and clear job descriptions for everybody that's in your team environment for what do you do? What do, do you have an admin? Do you have a TC? Do you have a team manager? What are your expectations for all your team members? How, what is the model? Can you describe how your model works? It needs to start with that. The other thing that we found when you get really clear in, if you're not trying to do this solo, and, and this is great, even if you want to be able to just have an admin, this, this will help you a lot having a, basically a team policy and procedures and manual operations manual how do you delegate? How do you take things off of your plate so you can free up time to have more work-life balance or maybe go out and take another listing or work with another buyer is to get rid of a lot of the admin duties. Well, you've got to delegate that and you've got to have procedures and checklists and things that are in place so that you can teach someone how to do it. And guess what? You might hire somebody today and in six months to a year, they may need to move on. And if you have it already in place, how you do X, Y, and Z to support a listing or a sale or marketing or whatever you're going to task people to do to support you. If it's in writing, it's very easy to train the next person. So that's another huge reason. Once you put your procedures in place, specifically for the day-to-day stuff you do in your business, you can create checklists from it. That's really the biggest piece we use. We're, We're in the middle of multiple transactions right now, and we have a great online pending checklist for a sale and a listing so we don't miss anything. We can delegate that to other people or Cosmo and I can take, you know, responsibility for who's going to do what. So it's really all about being able to get everything out of your head and how you do your real estate business from the admin side to the hiring to the onboarding of people, to how you work with 
uh, the day-to-day -day stuff you do with listing sales, whatever specialty that you might have, it ultimately becomes one of, if it's very thorough, if it's very thorough, it, it will ultimately become probably the most valuable thing that you have to be able to show a person that's going to take over your business and either buy it outright or that you slowly work out an agreement for an exit strategy, right? And you, know, you really hit the nail on the head just a second ago, Jen. You know, it really, it, once you have your, this, this, the, your manual in place, your business is going to be, you know, ever changing and kind of free flowing, right? You're going to have people in, people out of your team. So you save time and money because time is money, right? Uh, training up new people and all of that kind of stuff. So it makes you more consistent. It makes your whole business run more smoothly and more efficiently. So it helps you along the way. And then of course, obviously when you're selling it, it's going to be, you know, that's, it's, it's going to be your proof, the proof of purchase, right? Or what they're actually and along with. It's going to lead to your outlining how you use all your systems and things that you have. And so for example, a CRM could change, but the process of how you do lead generation, and you know how you your your detailed process from A to Z of how you work with a buyer can be outlined from scripts and how you train someone. Hey, the mechanism for the for the thing that we're using might change, and there might be new support videos because we switched from Boomtown to you know right. KB Core. Uh, that's that doesn't matter, but the process of how you do it is what's important. So let's talk and about. Don't the you think, Jan, actually, as you built built SOPs and and pro, uh, you know procedure manuals along the way, or even checklists, it helps you improve your process too. So you're actually enhancing and making your process better while you're actually building the actual uh, manual itself. Oh, so 100 percent. It works. Along, it works. It, it just it does multiple multiple duties. There's multiple benefit, benefits mm -hmm. to having. Right. And here's the deal. It's a lot of work. Okay. So what we've provided in our real estate team builder course is a downloadable Google drive. I mean, an Excel document that you, I recommend putting it in Google drive or whatever sharing software that you want to be able to use because you want it to be a living, breathing document that doesn't just live on your computer, your hard drive. It needs to be up in some sp shared space, especially if you have other people that are helping you. Another thing I want to say before we get into the categories this is an excellent co-creating job if you have an admin or you're hiring an admin or you have an admin now to work with your admin, your TC, to help you create the actual written procedures as they're doing them. Okay, How we did this at our Home Connect America company was Don, who was great at this. Don was somebody we had hired. I had worked with her as a TC before, and we worked. She she was a multi-purpose hire. She was. We were just getting started. She was our our front desk person. She was uh, handling compliance. She was answering the phones. She was doing all the admin, and she helped create our operations manual. And we did it over time. So I sat down with her. I said, "This is this is the thing. The, here's the areas about what I'm about to go through. Here's the categories." Now we had company admin, you're going to have team admin and onboarding. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, I want you to, as you go through and you do this task, I want you to write the procedure, grab screenshots, do all these things. So somebody could pick this document up if you were going to train them, because, you know, if you want to move on to this next position in the company, I want you to write your procedures so you can train the next person that you're going to bring in. That's the idea I want you to think about as we go through this. It's hard for you if you're the only one to sit and stop and write all your procedures. It's great if you had a week or two to do that or a month to do it, but you're not going to do your business if you do that. So you've got to carve out time if it's just you right now to work on it slowly, knock out one area that I'm about to cover, and then move on to the next area and at least get something down. I'm going to walk you through what I mean here. And then you can refine it. When you hire somebody, you can have right. them refine the process, as Matt was just saying. So let's start with the in the business part. Obviously, we're just talking about a real estate, residential real estate agent right now. Listings, okay? Your listing process. And I mean A to Z, your listing process. As we teach in our real estate sales builder training, before, during, and after. Before is how do we get listings? What are our prospecting methods? Are there things in here that we need an admin to do that are an ongoing basis? Anything that's an ongoing basis, a task that takes that has to happen on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis, that needs to go in here. So it's, it's all the marketing that goes around that. What do we do to procure listings? Then what do we do to get ready to go on a listing appointment? Everything. Do you have your assistant help you with prepping certain things? So think of every little thing, doing a market analysis, pulling together the file, 
it doesn't have to be overwhelming. It's just, it's like a brain dump, right? Yeah, Take exactly. it, write it all down, start writing it all down and then get a basic outline, which is what we have in a checklist format, if you will, in our drive. It's like, we've already put in, in the listing area, all the before, during and after tasks, okay? In this spreadsheet, what you've got to do is write the procedure that goes with task A, task B, task A, prep for a listing, all the paperwork, do the market analysis, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you do, you know what you do, just get it out of your head and get it into a system. So it's all that going on the appointment, what do you do after, what do you do to market it? And then once you have an offer, what do you do from that point forward, which is a lot of things, a lot of tasks in the, uh, in the transaction process to closing. What do you do post-closing, okay, before, during, and after? Same thing with sellers. Again, we give you the bones of that where we list all the tasks right. uh, for sellers and buyers that we use right now, okay? We don't have written procedures connected to that in our outline because that's what you've got to do to create it. We walk you through in videos how to create that, okay, how to create a short video using Loom and so forth. Okay, so listings and sales, any specialties that you might have, do you do property management, commercial, obviously, include that. Then you need to have an area that's about your lead gen in, around that. In addition to anything you do with listings and sales, are you doing anything else? Are you using social media? Do you do farming? Make sure you outline that. You can almost have it in a different section. We do have it in a different section on our spreadsheet because there's a lot of tasks that go with the farming process, okay? Yep. What you do to stay in touch with the people that are in your database, the sphere of influence, that also could be like we do a newsletter every month. You know, we, we follow up and do touches throughout the year. All that needs to be written out. So when somebody joins you, a team, an assistant or a team member, and you're showing them, here's what we do from A to Z for a sphere of influence, they just plug into what you do. And you go, here are the mailings that we, that we send out. Here's the newsletter that you're going to get to plug into because that's something I offer as a team leader. Okay. How do we on? We'll get to onboarding here in a second. So just think of everything that you do that requires more than one thing, and it needs to have a procedure. That's my simple definition. If there's two or more tasks, write a, a simple procedure for it. Then you get into all your other marketing that you might be doing. I mean, how do you do open houses? Do you do networking? Whatever you do, whatever you do. Do you do videos? What's your process for doing videos? Mm -hmm. How does it work? Storyboard it out so you can teach somebody. That's the process that helped me. How will I teach somebody how to do this? Yep. You know, and then how do we do it? And if we're not going to hire anybody right now, what's our process for doing it? Okay. And finally, that's the day-to-day -day stuff. That's the working in the business. That's the marketing. That's the, how do you acquire a business? And then how do you take care of your clients? And then you need the admin portion of your operations manual. And that's going to be how do you hire and onboard people to your team, which we covered greatly. We have a whole module on hiring and onboarding admins and team members. How do you find them? So we walk through in our training how to do it. You need to adapt what you're going to do and then just put it into the procedure. How do we look? Are we always looking for people to hire? What are our processes for recruiting? How do we have a system for follow-up? All of that is what I'm talking about here, okay? And if you have it all outlined, again, you can train anybody to do it, or you can do it until you hire somebody and train them how to do it, right? And then how do you onboard them? How do you train your real estate agents? Well, guess what? We have a partnership that you could get involved with us and our certification of real estate, same, uh, real estate sales builder certification allows you to use our training as your training. We have a bunch of episodes we've done on that. Check out our YouTube channel or reach out to us. We'll totally love to have a conversation about how we can co-create with you, how we can co-brand and help you have a turnkey training program uh, on the basics and the foundation that you just have to add your personal the things we're talking about right here, how you do things. Okay. And then any other admin things that you do, do you have meetings? Um, do you sit down and coach your agents? You know, what are the processes that you do to run your team? And that's, I know it's a lot, but that's what needs to be in your operations manual. How, if you were to step away, the perfect operations manual which is always going to be refining and growing, but just having the structure and having the things I just talked about in place means you could step away and go on an extended vacation and have somebody step in and run things. That, that's the beauty of that, right? And ultimately, Wouldn't that be nice? Hmm? Wouldn't that be nice? It would be nice, right? Or you could manage things from afar. You could do the four-hour, I don't know about the four-hour work week, as Tim Ferriss says, but you could do 
the however many work week and and be managing things at a certain time you could actually come up to the space that you're just managing your systems that you have in place online as long as you have an online connection somewhere and you could have a manager and everybody could be running the team and they're just following the processes now the other cool thing about this is once you build out your operations manual and you have it the details that we're talking about and it's connected to the, the the actual tools and systems and software that you use you've got a hub you know that you could open up a different area like you could go in florida and create a team for example and just follow the processes that you already have and just adapt for that state anything that needs to change as far as forms you know um, anything that's a little bit different in the process so Finally, in, in our detailed chapter on this, lesson on this, we literally walk you through uh, how to create a, you know, like a link to a different document. So if the, if the process was prepare a market analysis, it literally, there's the step, who's it delegated to? So we've created something that you can take and make your own and say, who's doing this task? And then click here to get the step-by-step -step procedure of how I want you to do the CMA, including logging into the matrix software um how we you know and just doing one like this is the process and here's the output and that's the task so it takes time to create the little videos and the step-by-step -step procedures for the tasks but you will love it in the long run because you'll be able to train anybody and you'll be able to step away and have everything be on the same level and i you know and my sister carrie who will have to have come on to the podcast soon is in the middle of this and a shout out to Path and Post and Becky, uh, uh, it's hard to call her Becky, she is Babcock, she used to be Becky Schrock. Uh, her and her partner have an amazing system that I'm just, that they literally have the next level of everything I've just described at their company in uh, Georgia. It's amazing. The, the training that they're doing, that Carrie's going through, the details of of how we handle a Zillow lead and how they have to practice it and everything is in a written procedure amazing and that is why and they had they're one of the most productive small brokers in the country because of who they hire and how they onboard and how they use their procedures and their level of quality and their entire uh you know we have to get her to come on becky i'm gonna yeah. say her partner to come on she's written a book it's all about customer service but it's all about being a strategic guide carrie's card doesn't say realtor it says strategic guide oh, because they cool. believe the path and post thing is we're going to lead you on the, we're going to be your guide through the journey of home ownership or selling your home. And Very it's, cool. it's brilliant. And so it only can be done that vision that you might have about what your team's about or your small brokerage can only be if you have standard systems in place and you teach everybody to those standards and they're incorporated into your values and who you want to have on your team. And they're all kind of following, not that people can't have their own personality, but they need to stay within the boundaries of this is how we connect with the buyer. And then this is what we do next and so on. So I love it. And that's what we wanted to talk about today, that you could get something, the bones of what you need to get started with your operations manual through our training program. Yeah, all let's actually things. take a quick peek at uh, real estate team builder jan kind of go through those uh those modules here for a second one we have six modules in team builder we go through what kind of team structure and different ways you can set up a team various teams and then the 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 second one is really all about module two correct is that what you're in right now module two yep, right there mm -hmm. module two is all about your team admin and lesson three is what i just kind of covered in detail with you today on how without the videos of how to do the google drive and all that and write the procedures uh, that's inside there and you can actually take our structure uh, and download it. But as I said, I, I got inspired and this is something that I'm working on currently with our team. And it, when you buy our team builder program, you get it, you don't, you buy it one time and you have it with any of the updates that we're putting into it. And one of those updates that's on the list for 2024 is an upgraded version of this operations manual. Uh, you know, and maybe taking it to the next level and having a little bit more, having a little bit more of what I think many of you are looking for with a lot of the stuff already written. You know, I started to do that in the beginning, Matt, but I realized people will have just as much struggle having to customize something that it's someone so else. True. Yeah. However, I think there's an in between. I think there's an in between to what we have currently in Team Builder and adding a little more content 
that will allow you to run with it and maybe make some changes. So that's what we're working on as an upgrade for the operations manual. And once you purchase it, you will have it for as long as we're in existence, okay? Um, you have access to all the materials, okay? So, and you have the login for it and all the things that go with it. So, and what are we doing for a little special for June 2024? Yeah, our June special, actually, if you purchase Real Estate uh, Sales Builder, go over to our website, wblcoaching.com, go to courses, click on Real Estate uh, Team Builder, and use the coupon code RETB24, and you'll get $100 off the, uh, the uh, course price. That's uh, going to be our June special. It runs, gosh, tomorrow as this uh, video will be posted uh, through the end of June. So uh, coupon code RETB24 will get you $100 off Real Estate Team Builder. And in Team Builder, it's normally, what's the retail price? $997. So $100 off. You get so much documentation in there. You're going to have everything from what kind of team do I need to, how do I set my team up, job descriptions, how do I interview people, how do I, you know, get my team assistant up and running to, how do I find the right people for my team and all the best recruiting material that you need, everything from finding recruits to interviewing them to then onboarding them, all those details and everything has downloads and details and workbooks and then coaching them and then creating your exit strategy. So, basically six major topics of everything that you need. I think it's turnkey for how to build a team. And I don't think there's sure. anything else out there like it. You can take it and run with it and it's yours and you get a hundred dollars off right now. If you take advantage of RETB 24. Good stuff. There it is. That's All right. Good. Yep. All of our show notes for this episode are going to be over at wbnlpodcast.com. This was episode 294. We'll also have that coupon code over there too, just to remind you and a link over to the course as well. So you can get more information about that. And there's videos that we'll, just go to the show notes. You're going to find all this information and so much more as, as always. I'm telling you something that, you know, show, our, our show notes are pretty elaborate. <laughs> I've looked at other podcast show notes and I think to myself, boy, I work too hard. But you know what? They're fantastic. If you want more information, go over there because you're going to get all the stuff we talked about today, plus a whole lot more over at the show notes at wbnlpodcast.com. So, Jan O'Brien, 300th episode's coming up. We're about a month, well, month, about six weeks away. Jan and I have been uh, uh, kind of um, not conspiring is the wrong word, but putting our heads together, what we're going to do for that 300th 300, uh, episode is going to be a good time because we're going to be together. You're going to be out here in California. We're going to have a good time. Uh, yeah, we're going to take a walk down memory lane, share a little of our story, but also share about where we're going, what we've learned, pass on hopefully some inspirational messages to you, which we're just going to see what happens. But we already got a little idea of what we're going to do. So get ready for that. When are we going to, when is that literally going to launch? Do you, do you have uh, I think the episode actually airs around the 15th of July. Of July? So, yeah. Woohoo! Well, right we're going to do it right there on that weekend. I'm going to be in uh, Anaheim. Uh, the 12th, that weekend of the 12th. All right. Well, so, until then, though, go over to the show notes, get that information. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure that you click uh, that subscribe button or smash that subscribe button and, uh, um, you know, make sure that you leave us a like, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts if you're listening here or anywhere on your podcast platform of choice. And until next week, get up, get out and align, connect, prosper. <laughs>